Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom splash text in Minecraft Java Edition. So if you like Minecraft tutorials like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. And so currently I'm on the main menu of my Minecraft Java Edition. And as you can see, the splash text over here is something very, very important. And so it's a custom splash text right there. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can customize this to say the same thing every single time. Or if you want to have multiple different custom splashes that just randomly rotate between when you start up the game. And so let's just immediately get started with the tutorial. So to change this splash text, what you actually need to do is create a resource pack. So you can see here is the custom splash resource pack. If I remove this and go back to the main menu. It is still the same thing, but if we go into a world and go back out, we will see it now, it is just a random Minecraft splash message. And so the splash message itself is actually inside of this resource pack. So to show you how to create your own, we will open the pack folder. So just click this button in the resource pack menu in Minecraft, and it will take you straight over here to your file explorer to your Minecraft folder resource packs. And so here we can see our custom splash resource pack from before, which contains that custom splash message. Now we will just create a new one so you can follow along step by step. So we'll create a new folder and call this whatever you want. So I'll just call it tutorial splash, but this will just be the name of your resource pack. So you can call it whatever, it doesn't really matter. Then what you want to do next is go into your tutorial splash folder and once again create a new folder in here. This one you want to call assets like this, enter. And in here you also want to create a new text file, so text document like this. And so this one you want to call pack like this. However, you actually want to call it pack.mc meta. And to do that you need to actually see these file extensions, which you can do by going over to view show file name extensions over here. As you can see, if I turn this off, you don't see the .txt. And if I go back to view, show file name extensions, you see .txt. So if you have that, then you can change this txt to .mc meta like this, press enter, and then press yes. So this makes it an mc meta file like that, that is correct. And so we want to open this file and so in this text file, you want to paste the following piece of text that I will put in the description of this video. And so with description, you want to make it the same as your resource pack name. And the pack format actually depends on the version you play in. It is not really important. It's just that if you use the wrong pack format, you might get a message saying that the resource pack is not compatible with your version, but it will still work. So that is this message you can see here. Are you sure you want to load this pack? This pack was made for an older version of Minecraft and may no longer work correctly. So this is what shows up if you have your pack format set to the wrong number for a version that you're currently not playing in. So here on screen, you can see which different pack formats you use for which different versions. But for 1.19, you will use pack format 9. So then you go over to file and save like this, and that is done. And so if you want, you can also put a pack.png file in here, which will give you an image for your resource pack to show up in your resource pack list. That is possible. You just have to add a square image here, but it's not necessary. So for example, what I did previously is use this PNG over here, it's just a square PNG. And it's called pack.png and that will show up over there in your resource pack list. All right, so the next step is to go into the assets folder and once again, create a new folder. This one we will call just Minecraft, no capital letters, just like that. And in the Minecraft folder, there is one final folder, which will be called texts like this, texts, T-E-X-T-S. And within this folder is where we'll create the text folder for your different splashes. It's quite a roundabout way to do this, but it is the right way to do this. So here we want to create a new text file, text document like this. This one we will just keep as a .txt file extension, but we'll have to call it exactly splashes, splashes like this, enter. And so now you could just edit this text file to whatever you want the splash text to say. However, if you just do that, you'll probably get some sort of weird character at the start of your splash message, which you probably don't want. And so it would look something like this, where you have your correct text, so subscribe to MacStuff in this case. But there is this character at the start which says ZWNBSR or something along those lines. 
So that is probably not what you want for your custom splash text. So instead, what you need to do is, for example, get Notepad++. I'll leave a link in the description down below to where you can get it. But the website will look something like this and just have to download the latest version over here and just click download and go through the installer process. Of course, I've already done this, so I won't do it again, but it's really straightforward. All right, so if you have Notepad++ installed, you can just right click the splashes.txt file, open with and go to Notepad++. And so if this option doesn't show up over here, just click choose another app, go to more apps and look for another app on this PC, go over to your program files and there you should find Notepad++ and just select the exe file and press open. Now this window will show up over here and this is where you can add your own custom splashes. So let's add a couple over here. So let's say you want to have like the video or whatever text you want. And if you want more splashes, and so you can just press enter and then put in your next splash you want to add. If you just add a single splash, it will always show up with that splash message. But if you add multiple, they will show up randomly. And so furthermore, you can also add things like these hearts and other Unicode emojis. And maybe not all of them will show up correctly, but you can try them out to see if they will work. And so if you're happy with your list of splash messages, what you need to do next is really important. You have to go up here to encoding and make sure it is set to UTF-8 like this and not to UTF-8 BOM because if it's set to this one, it will actually add the character to the start of your splashes that you don't want to be there. So make sure it's UTF-8 and then afterwards you can click save up here like this. You'll see it becomes green here and we've saved the file. So now we can actually go back into Minecraft and go over to options and resource packs. So now if you scroll down, we will see our tutorial splash. We can see it's not red because we've set the pack format correctly. And so we can add it here and we don't get any messages or anything like that. Then we can press done. And now you will not immediately see your first splash message if you go back to our main menu. So what you need to do next is first just join the world and get out of it again. So this only has to be done the first time you activate the resource pack every single time after this. If you just start the game, you will get your custom splash message. But for the first time, you just have to reload your main menu. And there we go. We see like the video, which I think is a really good idea. And you should do it if this helped you out. Also, if you want to know how to change the background image, you see here rotating in the main menu. I have made a video on that and link to it will be in the top right of your screen. You can change it to whatever location you want in your own Minecraft world. But anyway, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as the splash says, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Schmicklar. Thank you for becoming a tier 3 member. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope to you all in the next one. So till then, bye-bye. Mm,